we manage the prize in terms of presenting it to the public and in terms of advertising it, in terms of receiving entries, in terms of choosing the judges that will help us to assess the entries, and uh, in terms of uh, also making sure that we raise the integrity and maintain the integrity of the prize. We're working with genres, um, prose fiction, poetry, drama, and children's literature. We have a short list of three. And this short list of three is one in which we have not yet got a final answer. Short list of one from the judges. And we have sent the three abroad. And we will get the response from our external assessors. Uh, there's only one, actually. There's always one external assessor. And then we sit down and see whether there's agreement between our own internal uh, judges and the external assessor. If there is a disagreement, it may be a disagreement that can be sorted out when the two groups, that is the person from abroad and our own people, sit down. And we are there as the manage, uh, board, uh, advisory board to make sure that we umpire, we referee, the process of reaching an agreement. And I'm glad to say that most often our own judges and the external have agreed. When you advertise, you can't say um, before you apply, be sure that X, Y, Z we, we can only advertise and tell you what, for example, it should be a book that has been published in the last four years. Now, if we say that, and you bring a book that was published 10 years ago, all we do is uh, chop it off. We cannot, in terms of quality, say don't submit your entry. That's why we have the judges, both local and external. We went into it, we investigated it, uh, NLNG even used their own means to investigate it. Um, if I register a company I'm in Nigeria, I must go through the Corporate Affairs Commission. So if you want to know the answer, you go to them and try to find out whether um, truly the company you named belongs to me or to you or whatever. Um, but it can happen that somebody is um, publishing, that is, is using a company that is sub another company. Even at that, the Corporate affairs will tell you. And sometimes, nowadays in this modern world, you can Google. And the people who complained did not provide evidence that would make us believe that they had information that we were not privy to. Yes, but I don't want you to believe that that is the argument I'm putting forward. I want us to understand, I mean, suppose it had happened, what would be the serious issue is, is he truly connected with the publisher? And I'm saying, no. If there are problems with looking for the best 
in literature in English, you know that the problems will be thousandfold when we come to Nigerian languages. For a start, um, in, in how many languages will you want to have the competition? Then you have to find out who are the true experts. You have to find out whether you want to put the same amount of money on the prize for Hausa and the prize for Igbo and the prize for Yoruba. You know, there are many issues there. Anybody going into that, let me say, a saying into that will have to spend years, some years, trying to work out the issues that would arise. Anytime you set up a prize, you remember that there will be the assessment side and then there will be the management side. We've had uh, a challenge with children's literature and uh, the last round of children's literature the, uh, saw the prize not awarded and the money for that was used to run a workshop. We, we invited our external assessor to help us run a workshop and in, uh, at the end of the workshop, a book, a little book on children's literature, how people should write it, what they should look for or look at, was published. I don't know whether it's much in the market yet. Obviously, I have a copy and other members of the board have copies. So we are hoping that based on that, um, we can expect that in two years, when we come to the next round of uh, children's literature, there will be meaningful contribution because what happened in the last one was not that people did not submit entries, but it was just that they submitted very, very poor entries. And so none of them was able to win the prize. So we are hoping that that problem will be taken care of. When people are writing, there are people who are, uh, you know, Ajayde Tanure said here that students are writing master's things on his works. Now, when people are doing that, you will know that you have to encourage people in the different genres. So if I'm writing poetry, then it's, you will expect people to push my work and so on. And I, we find that we will just have to um, encourage all these genres and try to find out how much it's impacting the society, the universities. When you now come to this critical writing, critical essays, they are the ones who try to analyze for you what the author said. Sometimes more than the author said, you know that. Well, we are not getting people to send us entries. How are our professors of literature being made? Don't they write critical works? Because I'm aware that you don't make people professor based only on the fact that they wrote some creative works. They have to write to show. As, as I, I always cite this. When Shoinka, who is clearly known as a genius, came to UI and wanted a professorship in the Department of Theater Arts, UI said, no, we haven't seen critical essays from you. We know that if you sit down and write, Everybody will want to publish what you say, but you have not done that. We have only seen uh, cre creative uh, works. So this exercise should contain two parts, the creative part and the analytical part. And we are not getting our universities to react. Is it that they don't know about it? We've made all kinds of efforts to reach them. And then in that case, why are they not trying? Why are they not applying?